to go ahead and show you a couple of the parameters that matter. We're going to run Elm make with a dash dash help. It's a parameter that gives us information. There's a couple things I want to point out. First is that you have to specify an output of what you want it to output. You can do it with or without the equals. It doesn't really matter, and including the folder path. And this basically says, take this Elm and convert it to JavaScript. And this is the normal operation. Sometimes you can do HTML, but for the most part, you're probably going to output JS. If you do HTML, Elm Reactor is smart enough to recognize that it's Elm code, it should compile it. Elm by default will produce regular code that you can debug, very similar to when you create normal JavaScript from ES6 to regular ES5 JavaScript that runs in any browser or, or older versions of Node. The, the point of doing that is so you can actually debug it or have source maps or read the output. Same with Elm. Whereas if you do optimize, it does a lot of additional things to remove metadata, disable the ability to log or put console.log in your code, for example. So there's certain things that the Elm compiler can do if you run with optimize. And a lot of times in more advanced projects, this will be with something like Webpack, for example. Although this code, it does compile, even if you were to put the Elm make, let's say source main Elm, and you were to say, okay, I'll put to, I don't know, cow.js. It says it's successful, but it didn't actually output cow.js. And you're kind of like, okay, what is going on? And the reason for that is you didn't actually use the code in your Elm, so there's nothing to output. Compiler is smart enough to recognize that it's dead code. It's code that's never reached or actually run, and thus it's not going to compile it. It's very, very different from like TypeScript or Flow, where some of those are either plugins or compiler parameters. Elm by default will not compile code that's not utilized. Now, I personally don't remember if it's like Dart where it has tree shaking, for example, but bottom line is if you compile and don't see any output, that's why it's because your code's not used. 